If you spend any time online perusing discussions and content about AI, the vast majority of it tends to be highfalutin, alien, and just plain far removed from the daily experience of your everyday Joe. Most of the time, it features wealthy people of some intellectual prowess who simply enjoy the endless speculation and tantalizing possibilities of AI doomerism, painting varieties of apocalyptic scenarios leading to the termination of humanity once and for all. This is often accompanied by further discussion about the so-called technological singularity, a hypothetical future point in time where technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable and dramatic changes to human society and civilization, with the central idea being that an artificial intelligence, through a process of so-called recursive self-improvement, the process by which the AI self-improves its own code, architecture, and functionality, would enter a quote-unquote runaway phase of so-called intelligence explosion. It would become super-intelligent, far surpassing any and all human intelligence combined. The world after this event would be as unimaginable to us mere mortals as the internet would be to a medieval peasant or a computer to a caveman. And of course, this AI would inevitably dislodge humanity itself from its own misery and ineptitude because on balance that is what's best for the world at least according to the AI. That about sums up most of the prominent discussions of AI in the ethereal spheres of the wealthy and academic. But something I've been far more concerned about for a long time, and something that's been furthermore confirmed by my most recent experiences on YouTube with poorly implemented AI bots on the channel, seems far more sinister, dangerous, and above all, imminent in terms of its relevancy to our continued existence as the dominant primate on the planet. Now, don't get me wrong, maybe Skynet and the Terminators will come to pass eventually, and even if such an event were around the corner, relatively speaking, it's still a little too distant to really garner much concern, whereas the actual current effects of AI will have far more wide-sweeping consequences in the immediate future for all of us. Now, you might be thinking I'm talking about AI-induced job loss, but actually, I'm not, which is not to say that I think that won't happen. As, as it stands now, such job loss is likely inevitability. However, even granting that, I think we face a far worse and clear and imminent danger than that. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the various online shops and services and places you can order items from. And oftentimes, when you run into problems, you have to make some phone calls and contact customer support. So far, so good, right? But you're probably also familiar with the scenario of getting endless strings of automated voices telling you to push one or two or three or four, which then subsequently only lead you to more automated voices that are meant to help you with your particular query. And yet so often it happens to be the case that the particulars of your matter require the finesse and precision of a human mind, which is simply absent. And you just end up asking yourself, where is the bloody human being? Now, this type of automation goes back a fair while, as far as I can tell, and you could even encounter it some 10 or 15 years ago. And it was, to say the least, as it is still now, annoying as fuck. And at the end of the day, neither you nor your query are helped by this. But if so many people of all ages express frustration and discomfort at such a thing, why have they not only continued to be employed, but have multiplied, manifold? Well, it's simple. It's cost-efficient, or so they say. And so begins the story of the same principle, what now applied with mass algorithms guided by purportedly ever-wise AI. They're not there to help you or me. They're there because they don't need to be paid. And on the face of it, they're a great boon to such companies, as they're technically more efficient, if only considering matters of speed and processing power. And therein lies the rub. Faceless, lacking human discernment, emotion, or really anything we could call awareness or consciousness. When things go wrong with the almighty AI as they have done and invariably will do, the powers that be will simply tell you that when making an omelet, you have to break a few eggs. Though perhaps with different words. Something that some political ideologues enjoyed saying in the early part of the 20th century. We all know how that went, given the death toll. Obviously. In light of recent events on my channel, this can be devastating enough for people who operate on YouTube, at least to some degree. But you only need to take it a step further and imagine the applications of such a quote-unquote creature 
to wider society. And it's not a question of if, but when, and a rather soonish when at that. You need only imagine important medical services, for example, implementing such cost-efficient algorithms at scale, and with the same thought process involved, namely, you need to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Individual circumstances are ignored, and the particulars of cases are overlooked in favor of universal oversight. And sure, sometimes, maybe even most of the time, the AI bot gets your diagnosis right, especially if it's something commonplace and frequently encountered. And you even get your prescription, you know, the one you need. But as with all things in life, health and medicine are messy. And what happens if the algorithm messes up? In my case, sure, I have likely permanently lost a bunch of money due to the demonetization, which truly does suck. But in the case of your health and potential fuck-ups there, the situation begins to look very different and far more grim. It's dire. The real problem here is the same as it is with YouTube, functionally speaking. AI bots cannot be held accountable. And you also have no possibility of appealing to an AI bot, which is bad enough online in this context, but just imagine how much worse it will be when it comes to a life or death situation involving a medical issue. There's no human being to turn to who can respond to you as potentially your life slowly ebbs away before your eyes. But hey, it happens, and you need to break a few eggs to make an omelet. And more importantly, do you have any fucking idea how much money health services have saved since implementing this amazing AI bot? Sure, you had to die. But at the very least, such companies don't need to waste money anymore on human beings. And that's what counts. But you know what? Let's turn it up a notch. Sure, dying due to neglected health complications on the part of shitty AI-driven algorithms sounds bad. And it is bad. But just wait for the money shot, because I promise you, it's coming. Just think how amazingly efficient states and governments can be once they start implementing this technology en masse and at scale. Think about all the possibilities for tax service agents, the justice system, and how great and amazing surveillance will be once the state, which always has your best interest in mind, gains a hold of this technology and realizes that it too needs to break a few eggs to make a few omelets. And how delightful the broken eggs with their shattered shells lying about the floor will be. I can think of wonderfully endless applications for these friendly AI bots in regulating speech and behavior and just making society safe, and boy, I just can't wait for it. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Smith, you're actually under arrest for murder, and are going to jail. What sayest thou, Mr. Smith? Thou hast done no such thing. Thou wilt know what evidence is at hand. Methinks thou dost protest too much, Mr. Smith. After all, the AI told me you did it. And you know, due process, court proceedings, lawyers, judges... It's also laborious and expensive, so we're not going to bother with any of that rigmarole anymore as this is just so much more cost-effective and efficient. Because you see, Mr. Smith, evidence, whether you actually committed a crime or not, your alibi, your whereabouts, these things don't actually matter. Because Mr. AI told me you did it, and that's enough for me. And just in case you're concerned, Mr. Smith, Mr. AI also told us that you regularly post online about the government, and specifically governmental spending and how wasteful it is. And you can be pretty vocal about it. Well, guess what? You might die in jail now, but you really have no idea how much money the government has been saving since we implemented these wonderful AI bots. So, view your internment for the rest of your life, and likely slow death in jail, as a noble sacrifice for the sake of greater government efficiency. And we're going to spend all that money we've been saving with AI to cut further costs on law enforcement, legal professionals, and wasteful court proceedings to be even more efficient and to cut down even more in costs. And you really should just be happy about that, Mr. Smith, since you're just a small sacrifice for the greater good. You're part of the omelet at the end of the day, and you can be proud of that. And so it goes, and so it goes. Now, if that sounds nightmarish, and it should, I'm sure far smarter and far more creative people than I can find even more thrilling applications for this wondrous new technology and how it might be used to improve government and society. It's just so exhilarating. Don't we all want to be Mr. Smith, to be part of that greater omelet? So you see, there are plenty of apocalyptic scenarios that could easily and probably will come to pass that require absolutely no Skynet, no Terminators, no Singularity, 
just the ever foolish human ape, and his infinite strivings and wisdom to ruin his own life and that of countless others in the process, all in the name of progress and efficiency. And with enough time and energy invested, we will all just be another Mr. Smith, waiting in the queue for our turn, and there will be no one to hear our wailings save the deafened ears of the AI bots that have served our sentence, whether right or wrong, and it's not a bug, it's a feature. Because at the end of the day, you're just a part of the omelet. Well, there you go. My thoughts on the current state of affairs with AI, as it applies to me, you, and the rest of the world. Now, I want to say, before I go to the very last bit of my thanks and what have you, a major, major thanks in advance to all the people that pulled through and decided to voluntarily support the channel and its content. It's been incredibly humbling, and I really appreciate it. Some people have been really beyond generous with both their time and money, and I am ever grateful for that. And to the people who have joined Patreon and have decided to donate to PayPal, like I said, my heartfelt thanks goes out to you. At this stage, this channel would not exist without your support. There's no AdSense. I guess we can all engage in the usual YouTube jazz of liking the video, sharing the video, commenting, subbing. I'm not sure how much that helps at this stage, but it probably helps at least to spread the message and my content in case people are interested in it. And it's much appreciated. And as always, if I'm still alive and hail, I will check you out later. Until then, may the gods truly watch over you. Take care for now. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.